that won't do. The color must be vibrant. Finally, the courier. I expected you hours ago. You must acquire my materials at once. And don't think I'll compensate you for the rush, given you're the one who was late. Oh, well, I can hardly keep track of every face I hire. An artist's work is endless. I need colors. Rich, rare, vibrant. After all, this painting will be the masterpiece of my career. I simply cannot work with mediocre shades. Reagents! Ingredients! Naturally, of course. I require that you gather the supplies needed to make the vivid paint this masterwork requires. Just take this list. Oh, and this tea, of course. You'll need it to acquire the first item. Now hurry along. I really do need you to hurry along. Inspiration could strike me at any moment, and I simply must have the perfect colors when that time comes. Oh, of course, you're a fan. Well, I'm not surprised my popularity precedes me. I'm sure it's not every day that you meet an artist of my caliber. As long as it doesn't delay you for too long, you may ask me some questions. From what I gather, Somerset views its artists rather differently than the rest of Tamriel. It's one of the few ways to rise above your family's station and enter the world of the elite. This masterpiece shall be my final step. Oh, no, no. Being a renowned artist is a station all its own, and a highly respected one at that. From this generation forth, my descendants shall say my name with reverence. What more could one ask for? I'm known for my art, yes, but I need something to set me apart. A painting that shall hang for centuries, worshipped by those who gaze upon it. To do so, I need breathtaking, resplendent colors. Vivid, powerful, emotional. Hamelin's dye produces the most gorgeous teal you'll ever see. The Yokudin tea I've given you should be a good enough trade. Brodron's bug carcasses create grays with flashes of silver. He's already received payment, so just tell him my name. The Orealis. Oh, such a glowing orange it produces. Beautiful enough to bring tears to your eyes. The flowers are rare, but I happen to know a hilltop where they still grow. I've marked all the locations for you in the note. Hard at work, Tindoria? How goes your finger painting? Ah, Verilel. I see you've deigned to step out of your florid abode. Come to see how a real artist creates. I'd enlighten you with a response, but we both know my skill speaks for itself. Why, you're certainly skilled at boasting. If only you had the artistic sense Auriel gave a mud harper, you might produce something of worth. <laughs> your tongue remains as sharp as your wits. When I'm declared the royal court's newest artist, I'll be sure to send you an invitation to dinner. What a kind offer. Though I'm sure that won't be necessary. After all, we both know that I'll be the one to acquire that position. So, you've volunteered to collect Tindoria's arduous list of artistic materials? How exciting. Do try not to get eaten by anything unpleasant. Who am I? Honestly, I'm shocked you haven't heard of me. My works of brilliance are desired across all Somerset. My name reverberates throughout the land on the lips of nobles and commoners alike. An artist? No. I am the artist. I assure you, my confidence is well earned. Unlike poor Teen Doria, she tries her best, but those with an eye for these sorts of things know the truth. She lacks a certain something. 
hate. That's quite a strong term. Why, we're simply friendly rivals. It's always been that way ever since we trained together under Hainamil. Truly, I relish our time together. I'm simply the better artiste. If you've come to rob me, I'm afraid I have little of value. I can help if you've a high fever or nervous stomach, but I have no need for gold these days. Healthy paranoia, I suppose. There's plenty of questionable characters out here, but I prefer it to the crowded cities. Too many mer going on about their appearance or their status or their career. I'm done with such trivialities. Oh, it's been a long time since my former student has contacted me, and now she makes such demands. How quickly she forgets who trained her to hold a paintbrush. I have no need for gold. You can tell her that upon your empty-handed return. This is... Your cool and blue tea? I thought it lost forever. The last shipment was said to have sunk to the bottom of the Abitian Sea. Oh, she's still clever, isn't she? Her and Veronelle always were. Very well. Take my mixture. It's a good trade. Yes, back when I had the inclination to bother with such upstarts, I thought that would be my legacy to train great artists who would blossom under a careful eye. Sadly, all they did was rot in their own hubris. The life of a Somerset artist is not easy. It's not enough to be merely great. You have to be better. Both Tindoria and Vera L wilted under that pressure. I blame myself for agreeing to tutor them together. Their rivalry seemed harmless at first, even friendly, just something to keep them motivated. But as it tends to be, one of them was always a step ahead. Soon any praise I had for one would pierce the pride of the other. And now they've both grown bitter and endlessly jealous of the other's success. They believe Somerset only has room for one great artist. Such foolishness. Honestly. It was their squabbling that led me to stop taking students. Hey there. Careful where you step. Uh, my livestock is having the dinner, and I won't have some bumblers stomping all over them. I've got enough trouble with their mating woes. Hmm, these bugs happen to be the most desirable olive lint to crawl upon Somerset. When ground up, my beauties make the most brilliant shade of grey you ever did see. Why, I even got the artist in Doria as a client. Oh, well, I did. Uh, what a shame. I always took her for one of the good ones. Never tried to cheat me or say I wasn't welcome. Always complimented my beauties when she visited. The ideal customer every time. To think that she would go so far as to sabotage my livestock. Because it turns out she's just like every other high elf on this island. I refused to sell my carapaces to her exclusively and this is what happens. Verilel was just heartbroken when I had to turn him away. Yes, and he had quite a bit to say about Team Doria. He told me just last week she was complaining about my services. And I heard this wouldn't be the first time she's done something shady. By Ifra, to think I was so blind. Wait, wait, don't hurt me!
this wasn't my idea, honest. I just did what I was paid to. Just uh, let me go and I'll tell you everything. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, some sort of pheromone? It makes those nasty bugs sleepy, but that's it, I swear. It's not poison or anything. Why did I ever agree to work for that snobby artist? What? No, a fellow named Verilel. Nasty perfume full of himself, typical artist. He paid me to sabotage this farm. Not quite sure why, but, well, uh, I think it's about time I leave. No need to tell the authorities, right? That's it. This is the last time I get caught up in artist rivalries. I trust your search was as fruitless as mine. He did? Well, honestly, I would love to believe that. Team Doria's support was the only thing I had going for my business for a long while. But what would Verilel have to gain from all this? That's true. Team Doria and Verilel have been rivals for as long as they've been artists. I even let that bastard convince me Team Doria was the one who did it. Ah, oh, these artists and their rivalries. It's always us little people who are made to suffer. Here, take the last of my stock. I'm sorry I ever took the word of that perfumed pansy over Team Doria. Just glad I'm able to get her this shipment. That gentleman never did me a bit of harm. Another one? You there! Come here! I bet you've come here for an Aurealis Bloom. Well, tough luck. Fresh out. Last one was nabbed a fortnight ago. Come back in about a year. Maybe I'll have another one by then. Why else would you come here? The view? You know, once you could get an Aurealis anywhere. Now it's all but gone. Blotted out of existence by the greed of artists. You heard me. As soon as they learned it made a pretty paint, that was it. Didn't care that it takes over a year to grow. And that's only with proper care. No, they had to have it. And so they took and took, and now there's nothing left. What are you, deaf? Or just scared to go back empty-handed? Look, I told you that plant is gone. Go, go find another bloom for your fancy painting. Off with you now. Just leave me and my garden be. Would you leave that alone? You'll damage it. What are you doing? Stop that! Are you mad? You're damaging my plants! Off with you now. I have a lot to do, and you're not helping by stomping about my delicate plants. Hey there! Uh, leave that alone! Please, leave that Aurealis alone. You can't take it. What is wrong with you? Why couldn't you just continue on your way? 
Of course I did. Why would I let you have one of the last, if not the last, surviving blooms? If you take that plant, the species may be wiped out for good. Did you ever, in your obsession with paint, think about what you're taking from Somerset? Yes! That's what I've been saying all along. You're about to uproot what could be the last Aurealis on Somerset and grind it up for some painting. How could you do something so horrible? You really want to take the chance? I'm telling you, I've searched all over this island. This is the only one I could find. In less than a year, it will spread seeds. I'll nurture them, help rekindle the species. Please, just don't do this. Finally, someone who sees reason. Thank the stars. And thank you too, kind traveler. After the last visitor, I was just about ready to give up hope that I'd ever meet a kindred soul. Oh, but damn that Verilel. I'd have two blooms if not for him. Yes, Verilel. The blasted artist who took the last Aurealis bloom I cultivated. That's why I was so desperate to save the only surviving plant. Hold, courier. I would like to have a word if you would. You know, I've heard quite a bit about your little venture to acquire Tindoria's supplies for her latest sketch, and I must say I'm impressed. You've certainly proven capable. I have a proposition for you. Sell those supplies to me instead. Well, I could speak to how those supplies would be used in the service of art that touches the soul of myrrh and man. But I feel my words would not move you, so let's try another venue, shall we? I'll double whatever payment Tindoria has offered. Me do such a thing? As I told dearest Brodrin, it was Tindoria who sought to drive him to ruin. Why, I adore the little woodland elf. Tindoria has tricked you, my friend. Then someone she paid to incriminate me, no doubt. This game we play is one with many twists. Tindori has simply made sure to be one step ahead this time. Sell me those supplies, and I'll even make sure to compensate Brodrin for the trouble. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Such wonderful colors wasted on such a forgettable piece. I am a purveyor of the divine, my friend. Cannot blame me for trying. Off with you, then. I shall defeat my rival the old-fashioned way, with talent. At last you return, and with my reagents! Come, I simply must see them. My genius is like a stallion waiting to be set free. Complication? <laughs> a fine way to refer to Veyrelel. Oh, don't look so surprised. I can still smell that insufferable perfume of his. Yet here you are, which tells me you must have seen through his charade. Now, what of my supplies? Extinct? How could such a common plant go extinct? Just last week I saw some. Oh, wait a moment, was that last month? Last year? Oh, how the time flies when you're creating. No matter, fine, I can work without it. I will, however, dock your pay. Oh, that scoundrel! Brodrin is a good myrrh, and he loves those bugs like his own children. This is intolerable news. How will I do without my sea grey? No, I cannot allow this. I will send Brodrin alone to cover this year's livestock. Oh, wonderful! I hope she'd like it. I do wish she'd return to the city instead of living in that backwater swamp. Though perhaps something good can be said for her isolation, as she's created such a lovely teal. 
And here is your payment, as contracted. I am pleased you chose to honor our arrangement instead of siding with that scoundrel. Oh, I see it now. You, you're the perfect subject for my masterpiece. Your shining loyalty, your pure heart, perfect. Your visage upon my canvas shall be viewed for centuries, I'm sure. Why, maybe one day it will be featured in a gallery with the Queen herself. It's really very generous of me. You're quite welcome. Oh, just a quick sketch then, to capture your essence. I simply must make sure I get the eyes right. There, that should serve well enough. <laughs> <laughs> 